Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft uh, seems to have had a busy day yesterday on the 13th of April, and now they are finalizing the next two optional updates for Windows 11. And the first uh, is KB5025298, which is for Windows 11 version 21H2, the original release. And the second uh, is KB5025305 for Windows 11 version 22H2. And those, both those updates are being finalized in the release preview channel, which as you may know by now is uh, the final stage before it gets pushed out to the stable versions of Windows 11. Now, um, over and above one or two new features that have made their way to version 22H2, um, the update for both versions of Windows uh, is very similar. Um, so when I mention the bug fixes, they will be applying to both Windows, both versions of Windows 11, 22H2 and 21H2. But just to go through uh, the new features that have rolled out, and the first one was also made available to Windows 10 and applies to both Windows um, 11 21 h2 and windows 11 22 h2 and um, just to mention this quickly mainly geared towards rt um rt admins and this update changes firewall settings you can now configure application group rules so mainly affecting your system rt administrators and then moving on to the two new features that have made their way uh, out to windows 11 22 h2 now the first currently is actually uh, been tested in the Insider program. I actually mentioned this briefly for the beta channel uh, builds that I posted on earlier today. And there's a new add-on. Um, Microsoft says uh, the new update adds a new toggle control on the settings Windows update page, which you will see yeah, near the top when it does roll out. When you turn it on, your device will opt in to receive future non-security updates as soon as they are available. For commercial customers, the toggle is disabled by default, so just take note of that. So this basically is going to start pushing out those new features to your 22H2 version of Windows 11 as soon as they are available. And it's going to be interesting to see how Microsoft actually rolls that out. But nonetheless, that's a new feature uh, regarding the Windows updates for version 22H2. And then um, heading to the... Uh, taskbar widgets um, this update adds animations to a few icons on the widgets taskbar button so that's the little uh, widgets in the bottom left um, of the taskbar and these animations turn on when according to microsoft a new announcement appears on the widgets taskbar, taskbar button and when you hover or click the widgets taskbar button so those are some new animations that we can expect roll out to the widgets taskbar button now, um, that's the new features that have made their way to version 22H2. And as mentioned uh, at the start, um, the bug fixes mainly apply to both versions because at the heart and core, both versions of Windows 11 are exactly the same. And just to mention these quickly, if you would be interested, um, the update addresses an issue that affects the Local Security Authority Subsystem Service, LSASS process. Uh, two fixes um, have rolled out for Microsoft Edge Internet Explorer mode. Um, there's an issue, addresses an issue that affects when the tab window manager was stopping responding. That's been fixed and also um, addresses an issue where the pop-up windows were opening in the background instead of in the foreground. So that also rolled out, those fixes also rolled out to Windows 10. So obviously that's an issue across the board regarding Internet Explorer mode and Microsoft Edge. And then um, if you are using Task View, um, the update addresses an issue that displays task view in the wrong area. This occurs when you close a full screen game by pressing the, win key, the Windows key and tab. So that's another bug that's been addressed. And uh, if we head back to our settings, and this time we head over to accounts and our um, sign-in options. Now, um, the update addresses an issue that occurs when you use a pin to sign in to Windows Hello for Business, and that also rolled out for Windows 10 uh, in the release preview channel. And then the last one, just to mention for this video, the update addresses an issue that affects the resilient file system, REFS for short. A stop error occurred that stopped the OS from starting up correctly. And a stop error is basically a blue screen of death, so that's an important fix. And over and above those so-called key highlights when it comes to new features and bug fixes, there are numerous other fixes that have rolled out for both versions of Windows 11. 
And obviously that's because uh, these updates that are rolling out are optional bug fix updates. And um, they will roll out near the end of this month. So if we head to the calendar, I would suggest uh, starting the 25th. So that's the last Tuesday um, of this month, April 2023. I would expect those updates to start rolling out in that last week of April. And currently, Windows 11 version 22H2, the OS build is 2261.155. And if you do decide to install the update, that will be bumped up to 2261.1631 or somewhere in that point release vicinity. And for Windows 11, the original release, um, that will be 22,000.1879. So that will be the build for Windows 11 21H2. So that's more or less what we can expect to see in the next optional updates rolling out for Windows 11 shortly. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.